Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Logic Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Continuing the while topic, I'm going to show you that is a shortcut, actually something that's going to do exactly the same thing, but in a shorter way. By the way, here we used plus one, but you could, could use plus two as well. So I just have to do the, the math a little bit different, but as you can see, it's counting uh, two by two. Then, what I want to show you is that there is a shortcut when you want to increment one by one. So basically, this is so common that Java created uh, another way to do the same thing by having this. So basically, I'm just going to press Ctrl slash. I'm going to have a comment here. So you can either have it here or you can have something like this. This line is going to be completely ignored. So this is exactly, it's just a shortcut for this. So this is the longer version, this is the shorter version. If you execute, you are going to notice that we have exactly the same results, but in a shorter way. So this is very, very common. So I think uh, you should start getting used to this. So if you want to count something one by one, please use this way instead of this way. But uh, they are going to achieve the same thing. And now that we know a little bit about while, let's have one quick exercise. So given a number entered by the user, Print all the other numbers starting from zero until the number given by the user. And here is where things starting getting a little bit more <clears throat> complicated, I'm sorry. Because if you look at what we are doing now, we are mixing concepts. You already know how to print the even numbers. We probably have to use if somewhere. And now I want you to do that with a while. So that's where the programming logic starts getting a little bit more complicated because you start having to think about all the concepts that you learned before and you are going to apply now so we have been using like variables and then after variables conditionals and after conditionals uh we are going to use whiles and now we are going to mix like variables conditions and whiles in one program so how does that going to how is that going to look like so i advise you please pause and then try to uh, do it yourself Okay, so Java class exercise while 01 PSVM, same process. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to write it here. And I'm going to start. First, we have to get the number from the user. We already did that several times. Let's create here our scanner. So if you don't see any red lines, it means the import was successfully done for you. Then let's think that the user is going to type a positive number. And then again, we have here input, next int, and then we introduce variable. So one interesting thing, usually when we are working with uh, loops, you are going to see a lot the variable i. That means like iteration. So since here is just the target i'm not going to use i but i'm going to use i for the next one so the target you can have target or maybe final value it up totally up to you okay so now we have the the number that we want but we need to get there from zero so basically what we have to do is like i want to count i like zero then one two three up to the number that was typed by by the user so we know if we look at the while zero one that we have to count something if this counter probably will have to get to this final value so this is our condition the counter will have to be counting until the final value so let's see how we can do that first we are going to create another variable the counter but i'm going to use i for that and it's going to start with zero then it comes our condition. So while this counter, my iteration is lower, and here is saying uh, all numbers are from zero until, let's say lower or equals the final value, I want you to do what? So let's start very simple. Let's just print the numbers, the numbers here, i. And remember, if we don't change the state of the i, it will always be zero. So what do we have to do? I plus plus so basically print the value that we have in i 
increment by one, go over the condition again, and keep doing this until it reaches the final value. Let's see this. Control Shift F10. I'm going to give a positive number, 20. And then, as you can see, the while is counting from 0 to 20. So we know that's working, but the exercise is not only this. We have to now print all the odd numbers. Now, the odd numbers, we are going to do the following. I know that this part is working, right? So I'm going to leave it like this, and I'm going to add some here. If. Now, if the, let's say, I am mod 2 is not 0, because if it's 0, it means it's in an even number. We are not looking for even numbers, we are looking for odd numbers. So basically, it should not be 0. So if it's like this, it means that this is odd. And what do I want to do with the odd number? I want to print it out. Now, Control X, Control V, Control Alt L. And I ask you, should this number be here or should this number be inside the if? Now, if you move this by mistake inside the if, let's look what's what's going to happen. Control Shift F10, enter a positive number, let's say 23. And then, well, nothing happened. Why? First, because if you look at the first number starting with zero, it's well, technically it, it will be considered even. So this if is not being executed. And what's happening? The program is running here. The program is keep going, but the problem is like we are not printing anything. We have to use the counter outside. The counter should go on like every time. We just stopped pressing Ctrl F F2. So the, this guy should be here. But what happens, for example, let me just go back. If I start with one, definitely the if is going to be executed. So I'm going to press Shift F9, I have a breakpoint, and then positive number 23. Okay, so as you can see, the if was executed, because I'm starting with 1. 1 is odd. And then we have here 1 plus 1, yeah, nice. 1 plus 1 is 2, and now 2 is lower than final value. Yeah, definitely, 2 is lower than 23. And then the if is not going to be executed again. So as you can see, this is keep going on forever. We are not, never going to reach the the end of this program. So just press Ctrl F2 again to stop the program. And now let's do the following. Ctrl Shift arrow down. So we are just taking the counter, the thing that we are incrementing one by one. That's going to be part of our condition to outside if. So it doesn't matter what happens in the if, this is definitely going to be executed. Ctrl Shift F10. And 23, and we have all the odd numbers. Control Shift F10. Let's put a big value, and as you can see, we also we have to trust that we have all the odd values here. So, as you can see, this is part of a developer's life. We have like different tools, and we have a problem, and we have to use these kind of tools to get to the end of that problem to solve it correctly so that's it uh, i wanted to tell you for this video let's continue in the next one bye bye